Hello there! We kept receiving questions on intersection of the lines, so today we'll finally learn to deal with them. As you can remember from one of our previous videos, a line is described by an equation of the following form. y equals to mx plus b, which sets a dependence between the x and y coordinates of the points lying on this line. And thus, you could easily figure that while discussing uh, the intersection of two lines, we would have to deal with two equations of this kind. Now, the point of intersection lies on both lines at the same time. It means that we're going to have to find uh, the coordinates, the point with the coordinates, which would satisfy both equations describing these lines. And this is what is called to solve a system of equations looking like this. So let's form this system. y equals to 2x plus 3 and y equals to 0.5x. And now let's have a close look at our picture right here. Here we have uh, two lines already graphed each of them being represented by uh, its own equation. So, the red line is represented by an equation y equal to 2x plus 3, which means that in order to define the y-coordinates of the points lying on this line, you would have to take an x-coordinate, multiply it by 2, and then add 3. And the same would go for the black line right here. So, in order to define the y-coordinates of the points lying on this line, you would have to take the x-coordinates and multiply it by 0 0.5. Now, there is a point, which we call the point A, where these two lines intersect. And the thing about this point is that in order to find its y-coordinate, you could substitute its x-coordinate into either this equation or this equation. Look y coordinate of the point A equals to 0.5 x's and, and to 2 x's plus 3 because this point, this is the one particular point which lies on both lines at the same time. So having uh, solved this newly obtained equation for x, we would obtain the x-coordinate of the intersection point A. And let's do that. So we'll go like this. 2 axis uh, minus 0 0.5 axis equals to negative 3. 1 and half axis equals to negative 3. And x equals to negative 2. And this is the x-coordinate of, uh, of an intersection point for these two lines. Now, to define the y-coordinates, we should substitute this x-coordinate into one of the given equation. equations. Let's choose the first one. But we could have picked the other one as well. So the y-coordinate is 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 2, which yields to negative 1. So, the coordinates of the point A are negative 2 and negative 1. Yes, but in general, not every system of such equations has uh, one, one solution. As a matter of fact, a system of such equations may have no solutions at all. Which is natural, because two lines on a plane won't necessarily intersect. They might coincide or go parallel as well. So, let's have a look at, at a couple of examples. Let's say we have a system where the first equation remains the same, and the second goes as follows y equals to 2x plus 1.
Now, the first line is already graphed. It's red. Let's graph the second one and recall how it is done. So, to graph a line on a plane, you need two points. And one of them we can already name. And that is the point where the line crosses the y-axis, which is called the y-intercept. And it has coordinates 0 and 1, because the b for this equation equals to 1. Now we're going to need another point. We're setting x to the value of 1, but we could have picked any other value. And then define y according to the equation. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1, which yields to 3. So we now have the second point with coordinates 1 and 3. <clears throat> Let's find them on a the plane and connect them so that we would have a line. The first point with coordinates 0 and 1, and the second 1 and 3. And here it goes. So this is the line represented by an equation 2x plus 1. Now, we remember that to solve a system of uh, equations of this form means to find at least one point the lines they represent have in common. Let's Make an, uh, let's assume that such a point exists and equate the y's for well, these two equations. And we go like this. 2x plus 3 equals to 2x plus 1. 2x minus 2x equals to 1 minus 3. 0 equals to negative 2, which is false. And this can only mean one thing, that the assumption we've made was incorrect. So these two lines don't intersect, and this system don't have any solution. Uh, now let's have a glimpse, we have, have another glimpse at our picture, at the red and green lines. We could have told from the very start that these two lines were of the same steepness. And as a matter of fact, what if we could have told them without graphing them at all, with just having looked uh, at their equations. These equations are given in nice, clean slope intercept form. And we can easily see that their slopes are equal, which means that the lines are of the same steepness, that they are parallel. And that, by the way, is a piece of information to remember. If the lines have the same slopes, that means that the lines are parallel and the system has no solutions. Let's now consider another example. <clears throat> With the first equation still remaining the same, and the second looking like this, 4x's minus 2y's plus 6 equals to 0. Let us first reduce the second equation to the, four, to the in, uh, slope intercept form. So here it goes. Uh, we go 2y's equals to 4x's plus 6 or y equals to 2x plus 3. And what do we have now? It turns out that these two equations are equal. This means that the, that the lines they represent coincide. So each point lying on these lines is a solution to this system. So this system, therefore, has an infinite number of solutions. And now, summing up. If you intend to find an intersection for point for two lines, face it guys, you're going to have to solve a system of equations. But you should first uh, look at these equations carefully. Because 
if the slopes of the lines are equal, it means that the lines are parallel and the system has no solutions. There's no point of intersection. If these equations turn out to be equal, the lines coincide and there is an infinite number of solutions. And if neither of these cases occurs, you should proceed into, sol into solving the system, which would lead you to, the one, to one single solution, which would be the point of intersection of these lines. So, enjoy! <laughs>